Hello everyone. In this video, I'm just going to go over how to change a character's uh, size uh, based on X and Y position. And the main reason for this video is uh, someone in the comments uh, asked a question in regards to that. And I thought it was something pretty cool that I could just go ahead and make something quick and just show it versus trying to type it all out. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, so what we're going to do is just jump into here and uh, make our character. And so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly make this. And uh, there's a couple additional things that you just got to be aware of. All right. Once you create your character, what we're going to do is click this little arrow here to resize it. This is important. When you use the scaling tool, it actually looks at the size of the image itself. Normally defaults to 250 by 250. So you, if you shrink it down on the canvas, it does not change this size. So it will scale back accordingly to this size here. So what we're going to do is just make this 50 by 50 in order for it to do what we want. Okay, so now it's going to be 50 by 50. And then I'm going to go ahead and add a sprite here for platform. And I'm going to end up making a couple. But... Um, this one doesn't matter too much for us right now. I'm just going to shrink that down for now. Let's go ahead and do this. And let's add all our behavior. So I'm going to add the solid here. Then we have our character. And our character is going to have uh, scroll two and the platform one. And then I'm going to zoom out a bit because I'm just going to do copy paste on this a bit everywhere. Okay because uh we want to test this out and make sure everything is good and it shows up how we do this okay so there we go got a bunch of platforms so what we're first going to do is uh set up a couple other pieces to sh uh, visually show you uh the formula and so forth and what it, the, those numbers are and i i always do this so i could play around with it while looking at it so I'm not always in the debug mode. Okay, so go ahead and make a new layer and I'm just gonna call this our HUD layer because I want the parallax to be zero, zero. So it's always on the screen just for me to debug myself. I'm gonna uh, create two texts in here. So let's go ahead and do, uh, whoops, uh, X. Actually, we we'll probably just do one. And uh, we'll just call this scale text info. And you could call it whatever you want. I'm just going to change the size to something a little bit larger. And eventually, I'm just going to dump some stuff in there. OK, um, so I'm going to click back into layer. I'll just lock the HUD so nothing else occurs. And so now we could go ahead and play with our event. So go ahead into your event sheet. And what we're going to do is just make two global variables. Uh, so the first one we're going to do is call it the scale factor. And I'm going to default this to something very small. Uh, uh, so 0 0.05. Okay. Uh, feel free to play around with it based on what you're trying to do. And then we're going to make another one going, uh, I'm going to just call it per pixel. And let's go ahead and make this like per I guess it's necessarily not pixels per se, but uh, the X and Y position. So you could call it that too if you want. Um, and so when we create the actual formula, it's just easier to change it here versus going into each piece that you're doing. So now we can add our event. So go ahead and click on add event, go to system. And I'm just going to make this happen every tick, which means pretty much it's going to happen constantly and it's going to just make sure the scale is appropriate. Okay. And now we get to just add the action. So we're going to pick our character and you're going to scroll down to where you see set scale. Okay. And when you click into it, it's going to say based on the multiple of its original dimension and its original size, double size is higher than one, uh, less than one, it starts shrinking down. Okay. So based on what you're trying to do, you can make it where it goes above the original size if you want. I am going to make it where it will only go to the original size and nothing past that. So in this one, we're going to just do one minus 
and I'm going to do parentheses and what we're going to do is go ahead and do character dot X since I'm going to do uh, the X axis first and we're going to divide that let me find the divide where did you go there it is and we are going to uh, divide that by the per pixel and then we're going to close that up and then we're just going to multiply that by our scale factor okay so once you've done that uh well actually sorry this parentheses needs to be right here there we go so now when you hit done you'll get this right here and then uh if we hit play let's see what happens so oh actually we should probably do one more thing before we test this out uh, go ahead and what I'm going to do is double click in here and I'm going to copy the same formula and what I'm going to do is in add action go to text and I'm just going to set this text to this as well. That way when we run this it will show us what number we're at and, and, and take a look at this right so as I go to the right I'm getting uh, smaller and then as I go to the left, I will eventually get back to what I'm trying to, my original size. So if you're trying to play around with that, you could use this formula to kind of reverse it, uh, change it up, but just know that the X and Y starts in the top left corner here at zero, zero and goes uh, to the right for X and down for Y for increasing. So this is how you accomplish it with the X value. So now what we're going to do is do the same thing, but for Y. So I, I would urge you to just duplicate this and go in here and just change instead of character dot Y to character. I mean, character dot X to character dot Y and same thing with this. And then that way you can, if you wanted to go ahead and just uh, click onto this and right click and you could go to toggle and disable so now only the y position is working so if you hit play for that now it will only shrink as you go down so notice how your y value is increasing and your character is getting slightly smaller as you go and if you go up then you are able to have this go uh, over and over uh, and get uh, uh, bigger if you want and you could create caps at this point notice how you're at point one two here that's going to be something where it is super important to just cap yourself with so you could add conditional statements to here uh, every tick and then if it is within this range keep it going if not don't change it so that way then uh, based on your gameplay you could kind of play around with it but the key to this is if you create a couple of these here, two global variables, scale factor per pixel, and then right here, have it where you have uh, one minus it, if you want it to stay with one. Now, if I change this to make it where it's with two, that's double the size. So th that's why I just use one. So we could actually change that to the size level based on scale variable and then completely have it all at the top. So really up to you on how you handle that. But this is how you can make a quick version of using X positions or Y positions and scale your character uh, based on size on that. So that concludes this video. Thank you.